Welcome back to another episode of Fish and Border. So I'm gonna keep this intro pretty short. In today's video, me and my friend George, we took two blow up kayaks to the lake that we usually fish and we ended up having a really good day. So you guys are gonna enjoy the video, but let's just get right into it. Oh my god, it's a big one. Let's go! Yeah. Oh my god! Alright, guys, so we just got in the kayaks. We took them to this really cool spot, and I got the PC Fun Elite Reel with a PC Fun Torn Rod. Got the 7 2 Heavy Rod, broke it out today, and yeah. I am currently using a black and blue football jig, but I actually already caught one fish off camera. It was a pretty decent fish, about a two pounder, and I was just reeling the jig straight in. So I think I'm gonna try that for a little bit. I'm just gonna cast out towards the bank and then reel it straight in, and hopefully we can get some bites. But yeah, we're fishing out of the kayaks today, so this should be pretty fun. We got some blow ups. Hopefully we don't see any gators. That is definitely a concern. And also, one thing you guys should know is it rained a ton earlier today. It actually just stopped raining. So that could affect the fishing, but based on the first fish I caught off camera, I think it should be a good day. You got one? Nice. On the swim bait? Is it big? Nice, dude. Dang. And it took my freaking tail. <laughs> You were swimming it, right? Against the bank? Well guys, George just lost the fish. I was gonna say George just lost the first fish of the day in the kayaks. Dang, he spit it. Guys, it is tough getting the hook in these fish out of the kayaks. This is gonna be a struggle. No way. Out there? Nice. Ah. Nice. First fish out of the kayaks. That's a decent one. All right, get a video. All right, what is up guys? We're here. Well, the weather's a little bit, you know, nasty, but we just got this nice bass right here on the kayak. Let's get the release. Hey, Let's go. nice. Oh god. Fish. That's a good one. That's a good one. There we go, guys. First fish on the kayak for me. Dude, I feel like it's a real. Oh my god. Oh my god. It's a big one. Guys, it's a really good fish. Stay down, stay down. Oh my God, dude. Dude, dude, it's huge. Oh my God. I cannot bring it up, dude. Oh my God, dude. Oh my God. This is huge. Holy crap. Yeah. Oh my God. Dude. Dude. Dude, dude, dude. That's huge. Holy crap, look at that. Oh my God. Oh my god, you gotta grab this dude. Oh my god. Yeah, I got a scale. Whew. Dude, that put up such a good fight. Let's go! Oh my god. Let's go to the bank. Guys, really solid fish. Crush the jig. That is sick, look at that. Oh my god, that was so sick. And the kayak too, that was an insane fight. Jig pops right out, that's the jig. Boom, that is a good fish. Yep, you're right. It's 5'5". Five, five. Yeah, dude, it, feel, it looks really big. That is a fat fish. That's a really good one though. All right guys, just got this really solid bass. 5.5, I think. 
That is a good one. He is so fat. He feel he looks bigger. That's a salt fish. He's pretty too. See buddy. I guys made it back on the kayak. Just released that beast. Still got the jig tied up. Let's fix this real quick. Boom. All right, let's get back out there. There's one. It was sick. I was reeling in. Oh my God. That was right, dude, that was right under the kayak. That was insane. Okay, relax. Come here, come here, come here. Boom. Oh, almost. There we go, guys, another fish. That was sick, he ate right under the kayak. I was about to pull the jig out of the water and he crushed it. Second fish out of the kayak. That was sick. He definitely wanted the jig, he choked it. See, buddy? What? I don't know. Another one. No way. That was right under me too. That was sick. Oh my God. These fish are going crazy. Another one guys, just released the last one. And oh, oh, relax, relax. There we go. On the jig again guys, this jig is getting it done. That was another one from right under me. They're definitely not scared of our kayaks. Boom. Another beautiful fish on the jig. He crushed it. See you, buddy. Oh, here he goes. What? Oh my God, big fish. Right under me, again. Oh my God, that was so sick. That's another good one. Right under me. All right, come here. Oh, 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 okay. Relax. Another one on the jig. Another good fish. Thought it was bigger, but still probably around a two and a half, maybe three pounder. He's really long, but kind of skinny. Guys, that is so weird. Every time they eat it right under my kayak. Look at that, he choked it too. They really are loving this jig today. That is so sick. Another nice fish. This kayak, it is tough fishing out of this. Like there's no, there's no back support. So my stomach is getting tired. But yeah, it's definitely worth it. That's another really good fish. See you, buddy. Another one. Dude, that was sick. Another one? Yeah, just swimming it. That might be a good one. I'm not sure yet. Oh, yeah, it could be a good one. Oh, it's a snakehead. Oh my God, I thought it was a good bass. Wow. Oh my God. All right, well, I'm gonna have to just tire this guy out because I do not want to lose my jig. And snakehead go crazy. And I also do not want to get hooked. Oh, Jesus. There he is, guys. 
see if I can bring him closer. Oh, and he took a run. I want to keep him pretty high up so he doesn't snap me off on a rock. But I also want to let him just swim around and wear himself out. So I'm keeping a little bit of pressure, a little bit of tension on him. And then when he runs, I'll just open the bail and let him do his thing. And in about a couple minutes, he'll get tired out and I can just grab him and pull the hook out. And there he goes, another run, let him out and then bring him back. And yeah, oh, okay. Oh my gosh. Wow, this one has a lot of energy. Oh, wow. Just let him go. Boom, got him. There we go, guys. Solid snakehead. Probably around a four. Maybe five. I'm gonna say four. He's not that long, but he's fat. Boom, jig came right out. There we go. Oh, uh, yeah, there he goes. Jeez. This one's kind of bright. Fish. I don't think so. Decent. That's actually a pretty good one. Oh my gosh. Real axe. Oh. Guys, another fish on the jig. That was sick. Had a little bit of... Okay, real axe. Had a little bit of a dry spell. Didn't get many bites for a little bit. Snapped off. And then finally got this dude. His teeth are crazy sharp. That is a solid fish. Guys, there is a line in this dude's mouth. Let me get the jig out real quick. There's a jig. Jig is out. There's still braid in his mouth. There's a hook in him. All right, guys, here's the fish. Solid bass, probably around a two pounder. He had a hook in his throat. I didn't want to mess him up and it was going to be really tough to get it out. So I just cut the line. So he should be a little better off. Hopefully, hopefully it doesn't affect him too much. But yeah, that's a solid fish. See you, buddy. And there he goes. Sweet. Fish. Well, guys, there goes my last jig. All right, guys, so I just lost my last jig. So I switched to just a regular Senko Strike King, put a bullet weight on it. And yeah, hopefully this will work. Oh, wow. Yeah, I put a Senko on. That cast a lot different than my jig did. Fish. Oh my God, I had one, dude. Dude, I got one. Yeah, that's a fish. Yes, guys, finally on the Senko. Took long enough. I just got out of the kayak. It's actually right over there. And I've been walking the bank and finally hooked up on a bass with the Senko. Since I've lost my jig and switched to the Senko, I've had like one bite and it's been probably around half an hour. So yeah, either the bite slowed down a lot or the Senko is just not the trick. But finally got one fish on the Senko. He's pretty small though. Let's see, buddy. There we go. Got him. Got him. That's a good one. That's a good one. Jeez, he's fighting hard. Boom. Another fish on the Senko. It was sick. Thought he was a lot bigger. He was fighting hard. 
It's still a decent fish though, he's fat. See buddy. All right guys, that is gonna do it for the video. I had a great day with George. We both caught a ton of fish and I caught a really big bass. So yeah, thanks for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed and I'll catch you next time on the next episode of Fish Before.